Hi and welcome back to Normski TV doing another Transfer Daily. Today, really quiet, not really much to speak about, um, just to just report on a couple of um, uh, transfer information regarding Arsenal. And the first one is that um, we're linked, again, showing some interest with the Portuguese player and Lille player, Renato Sanchez, who's currently um, with the Portuguese side playing in the Euros. And Arsenal reportedly been are, are interested in him. Um, now again, it's just interest at the moment. I, I think um, what they're saying is that Arsenal have made inquiries about his availability. Um, you know, he won the league with um, Lille um, season gone. So look, they're going to be playing in Champions League, and um, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to cost. He was on loan with Swansea uh, in. in um, I think it was in the 20, I think 2019, 20 season, um, where he was on loan with Swansea and he made about 12 appearances for them. Didn't really go too well for him, um, obviously. Uh, went back um, to, I think he, he he was, I think he came from, I don't know if it was Benfica, but I, I, I don't quote me on that. Um, but listen, um, you know, Arsenal showing interest. He's playing quite well. As I said, he's played um, for Lille and they've won the, the league on. Um, in France and now you know um, Arsenal are showing interest but there are probably other clubs as well that are going to be looking at him I know um, um, Joseph Marina showed um, interest in him in the past went to sign him when um, Joseph was managing Man United but obviously that didn't come off but look um, we're linked with him is it someone that we want to go for you know we've been linked with a numerous amounts of um, midfielders Van der Beek Rob, Ruben Nevers you name it then um, Sambi Longa Conga, Raul De Paul, you know, Rodrigo put De Paul. There's a lot of names here that we've been linked with, but now here's another name that's cropped up, and that's Renato Sanchez. And sorry, I got the season when it was 27 2018 season that he was on loan with Swansea. And um, yeah, he 23 years old, um, attacking uh, midfielder. <sighs> Gosh, I, you know, it, it, this is just Arsenal again um, showing interest. And um, I don't know whether it's concrete interest, but it's been reported by Football London that, um, you know, we are showing some kind of interest in him and we have made tentative inquiries. Um, let me just read this bit here. According to 90 Min, Arsenal have asked Lille to be kept informed over Sanchez's situation with the French club. Um... It's got here, former Chelsea, Manchester United and Tottenham, Joseph Marina had already given his verdict on the midfielder and admittedly tried to sign him, as I said, in his old Trafford days. Um, and yeah, he uh, was at Benfica uh, before he moved to Bayern Munich. And I think he was from Bayern Munich, he went on loan to Swansea. So he's played with some decent clubs. And um, now obviously he's, he's, he's won the league, the league on one with um, Lille. And it's whether he wants to come to the Premier League and now try and prove himself again. You never know. I don't know what kind of price he will go for. Um, as I said, it's just Arsenal have been asked to be kept informed concerning him. So we'll just, have, again, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. As I said, Arsenal, linked FC. <laughs> that's all we are, linked FC right now. Um, so that's concerning um, Renato Sanchez. Also, um, we're hearing that um, there may be a little bit of hope for us possibly signing um, Martin Odegaard. Now, according to the Real Madrid um, president, P Perez, you know, he was talking and I'm just going to try and find the actual article on that. Um, let me just find that article. Um, and basically... What Perez is saying is that, you know, they've got a large squad of 35 players and they need to trim that down to 25 players. And, um, you know, when asked, um, you know, he did mention a, a number of players. Um, obviously, Odegaard, he mentioned. He also mentioned um, the other player that was playing for us. Uh, let's find it. The other player was 
And here it is. Um, the other player is when I can find it. Was uh, Sabalas, um, and he was saying that, um, according to Leten Sport, that um, you know he has to trim down the side. And um, I, look, the only way we will get Odegaard is probably on a loan deal. Um, I wouldn't be paying fifty million pounds for him. I need obviously Real Madrid need the money, and if they are selling him at fifty million pounds. There's no way, for me personally speaking, that he's worth that that kind of money. Um, I'll take him on loan, but I wouldn't be paying 50 million. I'd rather spend that money on a Madison, pay that extra 10, 15 mil on top and go for Madison, who has, um, you know, um, pedigree in the Premier League. He can score goals. He knows the Premier League well. And to be honest, Martin Odegaard doesn't really... You know, he's maybe scored three or four goals for us. But for me, he's still a little bit lightweight. And um, I know Arteta likes him. But for me, um, I, I, I would rather go for someone like Madison. Now, I, I know that's unrealistic. You know, we've got a number of uh, pundits coming out and saying, why <laughs> would Madison want to come to us when he's got European football? And it just shows how far Arsenal have actually fallen down um, the, the pecking order. So, look, um, what, you know, Perez is saying is that, we, um, obviously, he's saying we're all talking with players and their agents. We have a lot of young players and if they can't develop, yeah, then we have to um, send them back out on loan and then they can come back to us. Uh, and I think, you know, Martin, Martin Odegaard actually came out and said that, you know, he wants his future sorted out and this is something that he had spoken about you know, when he's going back to Real Madrid, he doesn't really want to be going on another loan spell. He wants to have his future sorted out. He wants to be settled in a club, whether that's Real Madrid or Arsenal. He needs a club where he can he can put down roots. He doesn't want to be on the move. He just wants to know that he's got a club where now he knows that's the club that he's going to be he's going to be staying with, and then he can ply his trade wherever that is. So, look, we don't know what's going to happen yet, but that is the talk coming out of Spain. Um, out of Real Madrid, the president is saying that they have to trim the squad. And, um, you know, Martin Odegaard's name, obviously, a young player, um, is a possibility that, um, you know, he could um, go out on loan or be sold. Danny Sabalas, the same thing, but I don't want Danny Sabalas coming back to us. No way, no how. Um, let me just see what else is there. As I said, there's not really um, much to speak about today. It's been quite quiet. Just scouting the, the news and not, not much is going on. Um, you know, Ramsdale, you know, we've been linked with him, um, but he's saying that he wants to stay with Sheffield United, who have been relegated. Um, if he does come, I think David Seaman was saying that um, we would like to see Ramsdale come to Arsenal, but keep Leno. So Ramsdale would be that second choice keeper. But I don't think Ramsdale would want to be in a position where He's playing um, second fiddle. I think he wants first team football. Sheffield United are looking at £40 million pounds for um, this player. There's no way we be paying for why, why would we want to be paying £40 million pounds for Ramsdale? Um, look, he got relegated with Sheffield United. And for me, uh, you know, what's happened with the Onana deal? What's going on with that? It's gone very quiet at the moment. Um, be interesting to see um, how situations develop. Um, obviously, Arsenal are looking for homegrown players and Ramsdale sort of kind of ticks the box, but there's no way Arsenal are going to go and pay £40 million. I'd be well upset if that happens. Do you know what I mean? But um, we'll, again, we'll just have to wait and see what's his space um, with regards to the goalkeeping situation. Leno's future at the moment... Um, is is unsure, unsure is unsure at the moment, or we're unsure of what's happening with his future. You know, you know, um, you know, he's open, and I think Arsenal are open to selling him if he wants to move. But we got to make sure that we get the right goalkeeper in. And as I said, Unana, we've been linked with um, from Ajax, who's possibly, you know, possibly, um, you know, banned until I think it's. Uh, I think he can start playing in November. He can start training from September and start playing from November. But we're going to need definitely a cover. Uh, Ryan um, 
Matt Ryan is obviously looking like he might end up going to Celtic. So, you know, he would have been a nice backup keeper. But he's wanting first team football as well. So that area, it may look like that Leno might do one more year here. But we would then need to buy a keeper that's prepared to sit on the bench. If it's an honor, would he be prepared to sit on the bench for that one year? And then he will become our number one keeper. I don't really want to see Ramsdale there. I don't think he's good enough for the club. We need to be, and especially paying £40 million, pounds, not, not for me. Not I'm not pleased if that happens. Um, I don't think at the moment there's really much more uh, to talk about. It has been very quiet today. Uh, and just searching the, the, the news outlets, there's not really much to go on. Uh, as I'm flicking through my phone now, you know, it, it's really the kind of same regurgitating news uh, from yesterday and the day before as well. The Ben White situation, we're hearing that, um, just quickly, we're just hearing that um, Brighton want more money. I do believe the deal will go through. Um, they rejected the £45 million. Pounds. I think Arsenal obviously want it structured. Um, now, £45 million pounds and then £5 million pounds, um, as, as add-ons. Um, but it seems as if Brighton are, are pushing for more. Hopefully this deal can get sorted out. The Lukonga deal, I'm hoping that gets sorted out and then um, we'll see what happens. But I think once we get those two deals over the line, then it's really about getting players off our books. Bellerin, who's linked with uh, clubs in Spain, Italy, especially Spain. I think um, AIM, uh, Inter Milan now, I think are going for another um, right back. So he may not end up going to Italy at all, but there are a number of clubs in Spain that are interested in him. And the situation with... Um, Granite Shack and Roma, you know, it's a case of trying to sort something out. There was thing he talk about a makeshift player, um, um, Duara, Amadou Duara coming as a makeshift um, cash plus player kind of um, swap deal kind of thing. But listen, we just have to wait and see what goes on with that situation as well. As I, saw, as I say, it's, it's a waiting game at the moment. We still haven't got anybody over the line yet and uh, we'll just have to just see what happens um, with that situation. With a striker situation, um, just quickly, Eddie Nketiah, he's been linked with um, West Ham and also Bayer Leverkusen. Um, he's got a year left on his contract and Arsenal were trying to time down to a new deal so that obviously they could put more uh, money on his head but it's looking like um, he's turning that deal down so Arsenal are open for him to go but the sort of money they're going to get for him it could be anywhere between 10-15 million pounds West Ham um, are interested in him um, you know uh, they lost their striker um, last season and uh, now you know they're looking for they're in the you know the market for a striker he was linked with them um, in the January transfer I believe but nothing came of it so we'll see what happens concerning that. Bayer Leverkusen, the German side, he could go there as well. They're interested in But other than that, there's not really any other clubs really at the moment, you know, showing any interest. Um, the Lacazette situation, we don't know what's going on with that. Um, we've been told, we've been linked with a number of um, um, centre forwards, Isaac, um, and also... Um, the other player is, uh, if I can remember, Calvert Lewin from Everton, but he's going to cost a lot of money. Arsenal are talking about fifty million pounds, but I'm sure that um, you know Everton are going to want more than that. You know, he was, if not their top goal scorer, so you know they're not going to let him go cheaply. So again, Arsenal have been inquiring. It depends if we do get rid of Lacazette, we'll then we'll then need to get in a decent striker that can hit the ground running. Calvert Lewin would be a good um, choice, but he's going to cost a lot of money. But we'll just wait and see. We'll see how things roll. I think we need to get the White and the Lekonga deal over the line and then start getting rid of our um, players um, that are surplus of requirements. Get them off the books quick and then let's see where we can go for our other targets. But listen, guys, again, thanks again for watching the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next Transfer Daily. Take care.